Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Friday morning, February 3rd. We are looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and SPY. So you had Apple, Amazon, and Google come out last night. They're all down this morning. 1.5% uh, for Apple, looks like 3% plus for Amazon and Google. Yet, here we are, trading basically in the NASDAQ in value and balance. Now again... We know we have non-farm payroll coming out in about 20 minutes. We're going to get a knee-jerk reaction by these algos. I think it's foolish, only because I don't think that number's... <laughs> Look, the Fed knows what they're doing for next when they meet again next month and going forward. This one number is not going to do anything to change that. So, But you're still going to get the emotional knee-jerk reaction, just so you realize, okay? Um, we have a wide overnight pock right now. Now, again, I'm in threes, so I'm not sure exactly how wide it is. But here's the bigger picture. The market right now is up in all three time frames. If we take out yesterday's low, well, then we'll come into a large three-day balance. If we don't take it out, then we're still going to be up on the daily. Uh, we gave back two things yesterday as bulls. We gave back a gap and we gave back a trend day. But the bigger picture is they're still in control. If anything, you will uh, shook out some week longs. So we'll see how we um, progress. What is the game plan for early? Well, right where we're trading right now, even if we're trading here after that number at 830, there's not much to do here. Okay? We had a, a nine wide point of control that we got late in the day. It's going to be, in, well, for now, it's going to be an upside destination unless we open above it come uh, 930. So... Those are the things to keep in mind. We had an 18 wide, uh, I think it was 18 wide or whatever it was overnight. Last, uh, yesterday, we never got to it. Obviously, if we take out yesterday's low, we'll get to that. You also have all this to deal with from Fed Day. Again, my line in the sand for bulls, they want to hold basically above the 90 level, 40, 90 level. I think that's an important level to hold. You don't want to give back everything you gained from Wednesday afternoon's press conference. So... No big deal if we take out yesterday's low, you just come into balance. But you want to get some kind of buying at some point in this level, whether it's against the overnight pock from the day before, whether it's against the price probe that never got hit, or certainly inside of these single prints. So those are areas. Now, remember, you'd have lower value at that point. On the, so on the flip side, really nothing much above us. So if this number comes out, and they sh uh, shrug that off, and they shrug off the tech earnings, well, then we should go get our nine, over, uh, nine wide pock, and then we'll see if we can take out yesterday's high. So there's, you know, right in here, there's really nothing. Can you take a long against yesterday's low? Well, if the number at 830 doesn't really shake the trees, and we're still above it come 930, sure you can, because you'll see if they defend the one-time framing. And then you could use basically... The price probe and the overnight pock that was wide from the night before as you're out. Maybe they just want to put it into balance and you get some bias here, right? We'll see if there's bias here again like there was on Wednesday. So that would be your out if you took a long against yesterday's low. As far as a short, again, depending on where the overnight high is, you can certainly take that because the history of front running, the S&P is incredible. Now, as far as Russell goes, look at them. They're just smack in the middle of yesterday's range. Nothing happening for now. Okay? So, again, we'll be recapping all of these charts tonight. In the trading room, you'll be seeing what we're doing come 9.30. As we start at 9.15, we give a preview of what we're looking to do for the opening. And then from 9.30 to 4 p.m., we're giving a live update of what I'm looking to do, of what the market's attempting to do throughout the whole trading day, $30 a month. Monthly is up, coming out of an inside month for now. Weekly is up, and the daily is up. So right now, the bulls are in control. We'll see if the bears have anything left in the tank to try to at least put them back into balance on the daily. Good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.